Okay, here we are. <clears throat> Massive effect marketing. We make your website go from this to this. Today we're taking a look at an atrocious website. Although the design may be easy on the eyes, we're going to talk about the Google and how this website should not be copied and um, it's going to be not loved by the Google. So first things first, this is a hair salon in Western Australia. So it's a local small business serving um, a, a limited geographic area. So they're going to be wanting to rank for local search like hair salon near me, hair stylist near me, hair bleaching near me, whatever it is. It's going to be a, a, go, a, a local Google thing. And so that is our first stable datum. We press control U on the home page to pop open the source and we see that they have their company name but they do not mention their geographical area that is uh, that's fatal because that's their main thing they need to rank for when people are searching in maps this site needs to come up you need to send signals to google at every opportunity that you have everything to do with that location so if it's perth in west australia then that's what you need to be putting you got to put perth up there so we've got company name which is great but we also need to put in the location and we also need to put in the the main keyword phrase that they're trying to search for in this case i reckon might it would be for blondes uh if we take a look through here i think um coloring maybe whatever it is whether it's coloring or blonde they need to put that here in the title all right so the title is super duper important it's got to have the company name, your geographic location, and then the main service uh, search that you're trying to rank for. And you actually see the title right up here, right? That's where you visualize it, and this is where it is in the code. And it starts with title, and it ends with title here. And everything in between is the text you need to put. Also, don't put all caps. It's hard to read, and it wastes space. This section also needs to be under 60 characters. It also can't be a spam fest like like our friend over here, our good, our good mate. You don't want to have your title have this much filled with keywords, literally company name, company location, main keyword search for the homepage. That's how you want to do your title. So that's super important for your SEO right there. That's one of the most important optimizations you can do for your site right off the bat. So let's get that going. Then we have the services page, similar idea. We'll press control U take a look at the title and it's a it's a, a lazy services um, a lazy title for the services page just have the word services and then the company name again huge wasted opportunity what services right they've got heaps might heaps upon heaps of services but I'm not saying to put all of them in the title but let's get their best you know maybe these guys specialize in hair extensions right and coloring well, they need to actually put that in the title, right? It needs to be written up in here. Services, hair extensions, coloring, Paris Rose, and then Perth, Australia. That's how you would do that one. You wouldn't put all of them in because then that you're, then you're going to be like this guy over here. All right, that's not the, the point of the title. The point of the title is to not stuff it with everything. It's to give it a really good, quick bullet point summary. And then we go over to About. All right, we'll do control U, open it up, take a look at the title. Again, a bit lazy. We've got about and company name. Um, we got to throw in Perth again. And um, I would vary up like, you know, hair salon. I'm not seeing that written anywhere, anywhere here. What are some other words that people use? You got hair stylist, hair salon. Um, you know, I don't know how the Aussies search for that, but that's part of the research that would need to be done. So you would consider that for the about page, um, Perth's most exclusive hair salon, you know, for blondes, whatever. But let's just get some more keyword variation of hair salon or hair stylist and not just keep putting the company name over and over. Moving on, we have the gallery. And this is another great opportunity in the title to mention some of the different um, services right that these people received right we've got some coloring some bleaching some cuts some styles 
So this is a good opportunity to throw those in, hair extensions, whatever, and so that we can get those keywords put in the title. All right, contact page, pretty simple. You can't really go wrong. Company name and then the location. Um, I reckon this is like a, a suburb. Let's check where that is. That's not Washington, by the way, that's Western Australia. And it's in outside of Perth. Here is Perth. So when we're thinking about local SEO, you know, here we are in the big, the big city, right? But then we've got these, um, the outskirts. So don't just go and put your main city everywhere. For instance, if you were trying to do Tampa, 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 every page, Tampa, Tampa, um, go ahead and put St. Pete, Clearwater, uh, Brandon, Bradenton, you know what I'm saying? Don't just put the main city, put some of those smaller cities in the titles as well. So that's pro tip for you. And um, so that's the titles. We just talked about the titles. And that's just one aspect of SEO, the title, right? Um, there's so many aspects. Another one is they don't have a security certificate. That's, that's a bit of a, a bummer. You'll get a slight penalization by the Google if you don't have one. And additionally, you're, gonna, you're not gonna be building trust and building trust is everything. So it just looks unprofessional. You know, you don't want to look unprofessional. Just pay the 50 bucks and get your security certificate, right? This is what it looks like when you have one. It's nice and fresh. So that's one point. There's actually 200 factors that the Google looks at when it's weighing your website. There are heaps upon heaps of ranking factors. It's quite intricate, but you don't need to know all 200, honestly. You don't even need to know 50. There's just a couple dozen key ones. A speed is a really important one. Speed is tops. So we're going to run a speed test right now on this site. I reckon it's going to be super fast because it's basically empty. It's got like an Instagram feed and some text. So let's say it's one second. Let's say it loads in one second. So let's let that roll for a moment. Put on some elevator music. 11 seconds. That doesn't make sense. So I think GT Metrics is having a, uh, there we go. One second, it's already painting it. So I don't know what happened here. Maybe it was the Instagram feed that confused things, but yeah, we, we did load the site in one second. It's pretty good, pretty darn good. Page speed is still taking forever. So speed's really important because the idea is uh, people are impatient, the web user is impatient, and look, it didn't work, whatever. They will click back if it's taking too long. And this is how it works. People will wait for the site, doesn't load, click back, and that's called a bounce, meaning um, you left the site on the page that you entered, and that's the home page, but the page never loaded. So that's gonna uh, result in a high bounce rate, and Google's gonna think, well, your website's trash because nobody wants to wait for it to load, and they're just leaving. Um, you don't want that. So you gotta have a quick load. Three seconds or under is the goal. And um, it's very doable, but you just have to have the site tested like this and then have a web developer optimize it. And you may have to remove some images, you may have to remove some rich features and stuff. So to keep that in mind. Let's close these down. Let's come back to the homepage. Other key things is content. Content is huge, and this website has no content. It is devoid of any meaningful content. Um, by content, I mean text, right? And we hit the home page and we have 90 words. They're both testimonials. And then we have an IG feed. And then on about us, we have, we have 250 words on services. We basically have 200-ish words, 250 words. Most of them are just individual services though, so not too hot. Nothing on the gallery in here. So we have only 600 words for this whole website, which is just dismal. And you wanna have 500 words plus per page. So when Google is scanning through this website, and Google does that um, this way, when Google's reading a website, it's like looking through all the code. Code has no value, it's looking for text, is what it's looking for. Because it's trying to understand what you're about, right? So it's looking for the text, it's looking for snippets of text to 
really get the idea, okay, what is this website about? And if it's not seeing any text, this page will get disregarded. This page carries no weight and carries no meaning to Google, so it's gonna be disregarded. The about page has a bit of text, and so Google's gonna gather that, you know, Perth is mentioned a couple times, so this has something to do with Perth. Um, definitely something to do with hair. There's a strong connection with this page and hair, right? Uh, for the lady, the owner, her name. So the keyword density is important and also the amount of, of text. You couldn't just take like uh, hair, let's see, hair style, hair salon, hair. Um, you couldn't just take hair and type it in 50 times in one paragraph. Like don't, don't start thinking that that's the solution. That's called keyword stuffing and um, that will get you penalized. You have to have a nice even distribution of your keywords. So if we're trying to, you know, really rank high for uh, coloring, color, ooh, got to spell it the Aussie way, color, we're, we're doing a pretty good uh, density right now. We've got two in this one, one here, and one here. That's pretty good as far as the keyword density in this content. I would keep it like that, you know, one main keyword um, appearing in each paragraph. And there's, of course, there's other ones like hairdressing, right? But um, if, if I was doing, you know, one at a time, I wouldn't have colors repeating more than once in a paragraph. So then if you had 20 paragraphs on this page as opposed to two, Google is going to really uh, associate you with coloring. If you only have the two paragraphs, you're, you're barely getting noticed. Google's like, okay, whatever. This page doesn't have a lot of substance. But if this page had 2,000 words, and there's been some studies on pages that have 2,000 words or more, um, there was, I, I was reading an interesting statistic from HubSpot where a great majority of number one ranking pages have 2000 plus words, obviously not everyone, but you get the idea. The more content, the better. You can always have more, 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 more. So, and then in all that content, you're going to mention the keyword more and more and more. And so that helps, but you don't just put two paragraphs and put colors and blondes 50 times in, in two paragraphs. Now you got to spread it out over you know, a thousand words or more, and that's going to have a lot more impact. Google's going to view you much more as an authority, and it's going to make a strong connection to your website and those topics. So content is king, and um, you got to have heaps of it. A thousand words per page or so, you know, I get it on the contact page. You're not going to put a thousand words. That's fine. And for the gallery page, you're not going to put a thousand words. That's fine. But you have to make up for it in the blog. You've got to get that blog going. That's where you make all the content for a website truly is in the website's blog. And you post every week, every, every mm. twice a week, every two weeks, whatever it is. And then that's where the content is going to live. And that's how you can really differentiate yourself from a five page website. Google isn't going to put a five page website very high, but if you're, if you're killing it and you have 50 pages of great content and that's a different story. So don't be the guy with five pages is what I'm trying to say. Paris Rose Hair Artistry. Let's put in Paris Rose Hair. There we go. Let's check it all out over here, right smack dab in the downtown. So not too shabby on the Google reviews, although, I mean, it's in a major city right in the, in the downtown. They should have a lot more than 40, to be honest. It's actually not good. Got to get up in the triple digits. This, this is very important for your local Google. The closer you are to Perth, the better you're going to rank. So if someone was way out in a different city, they're not going to rank as high because they're not close to that city. So you definitely want to be in the city that you're trying to rank for. And then the more Google reviews you have, the more people are going to click on you because it's kind of like gravity. People feel they can trust you just because you have more reviews. And it doesn't matter if you're a, a millennial or a baby boomer or Gen X, people are relying on Google reviews to to do the research for them. Because before someone commits these days, the overwhelming majority are gonna Google the, Google the company and take a look at the reviews. It's just, it's just normal now. And Google reviews are key for that. So you don't wanna neglect it. You gotta respect it, don't neglect it. And get those reviews, get up into the triple digits, eventually the, the quadruple digits, 1,000 reviews. I mean, why not, right? The more the better. 
And then when you start having heaps upon heaps of reviews, people will just click on you just for that reason alone. And Google will move you up more and more in the maps. And then you can just dominate and dominate and dominate. So, but that requires getting really aggressive about soliciting these reviews. So you have to um, really grill it into your employees to request them and email and text and, and just really get into it and not be permissive. It's very important for 2021 to get those reviews. So that's another key factor for the Google. We talked about content, we talked about reviews, we talked about some on-page optimizations like the title. Uh, there's quite a bit more. We talked about the security certificate. There's definitely a lot more. Um, you know, there's the whole point, there's the whole thing of getting links, link building, but that's pretty hard for a small business without any budget. Uh, I, I say, you know, if you're a small business, brick and mortar, service-based, um, yeah, you can do some link building, but it's a little easier on the wallet and uh, to do content creation instead and getting reviews. So that is what I would suggest for a small brick and mortar. We won't talk about the design because this website, that's just beyond the scope of today's video, this website doesn't even have a design. I mean, it is a navigation and a logo and just some empty space with photos. So it could be a proper facelift, but we won't do that in this video because that's what we always talk about SEO today. So that's the idea. One more bonus. Let's do control U, type in control F, type in H1. No H1, my Lord. So when you're doing your formatting of your text, we're talking about some on-page SEO now, um, you want to have your headings done. SEO is all about doing 100 different things that move the needle 1%. Okay, so you're not gonna die if you don't do this, but you might as well do every little thing. So you gotta have the formatting of headings done properly. This needs to be heading one because it's the main heading for the page. These need to be heading twos or heading threes, right? And you only have one heading one per page. You can have multiple heading twos and heading threes per page. And they usually go by size, right? Heading one biggest, heading two next biggest, heading three next biggest. So you want to have your heading ones, twos, and threes done on all pages. And you also want to put your keywords in your headings, right? So this, so this not only needs to be turned into a heading one, but we also need to throw in, um, you know, conservatively a couple keywords, but not make it weird. Like we wouldn't put, you know, blonde coloring, uh, coloring, hair treatment, extension services, Perth, Australia. That would just be too much, right? That's going to turn people off because it looks like you're, you're just being a spammer, spamming your page with keywords. Instead, just do something a little more conservative. Um, hair, you know, hair something services in Perth. That's that's as creative, that's as aggressive as I would get about it. Something hair, something services, Perth at the most. So headings do need to be optimized for every page, right? And, um, but don't put too much into it so it becomes weird. That's the fine line with SEO. You don't want it to, you don't want to put too many keywords where it starts taking away from the user experience and they start thinking that you're just a, you know, like a keyword spammer. Anyway, that's the idea. If you want someone you can trust who's not a keyword spammer, come on down to massiveeffectmarketing.com. We've been doing SEO since the beginning of time, literally, and built hundreds of websites. We do it right. Um, everything is white hat SEO, no gray hat, no black hat, meaning we follow the rules. We don't mess around with Google um, because that's because you're in it for the long game. That's how you're supposed to do SEO for the long game. People who do these you know, weird things like go to fiber.com and, and pay some dude in New Delhi for a thousand links and you give him 50 bucks, it's really, really sketchy. You're going to destroy your website's reputation with Google. So we don't do any of that. We do everything organically. Uh, mostly content so just come on down if you need some help getting your website in the google and moving up in the google and staying in google um, also we have a wicked thing here where we're partnered with a non-profit so if you get a marketing package with us we train a first responder isn't that dope af so turning victims into rescuers really wicked let's save let's save some lives together so massive effect come on down and if you have a website I'd love to take a look, go ahead and put it in the comments. 
um, put the website address in the comments, do a little video, it's for free, no worries, no big whoop, and then we'll show you what's good with the site, what's bad with it, and you can just take that and run with it because you need to know what's working and what's not working so you can have judgment. Otherwise, it's like walking through a swamp blindfolded. So don't, don't uh, do that anymore. Let us help you. All right, so until then, thank you very much and take care.